the update this week for Roblox Skyblock has been delayed, and in this video, I'll be telling you guys why it probably got delayed, and what's going on with everything, when I think the update will happen, and a lot of things that have been confirmed to be in the update, because I have seen a lot of things go around the Discord server about things that will be in the update, but hopefully it doesn't get delayed for any longer. Okay, so in the very beginning, Skyblock would update it like every few days, and then they changed it to a week, and then they started talking about weekly updates, like they'd say this week's update is something in the announcements on their Discord, but this last update that just happened, where they added the oily crops and fishing and all that stuff, well, that one they took two weeks on, but that makes sense, because fishing they had to add a whole new uh, thing in the game, that was fishing, and also completely changed crops and everything by making them oily, so that update had a lot of stuff, so this update is probably going to be soon because last update was super huge and it took them two weeks so this update they might update this week or they might be adding some more stuff that we don't know about yet and be updating it next week but right now it's kind of looking like they're going to update it next week on well last week they updated it they're supposed to update on sunday like they normally do so probably next week Sunday, which is going to be the 28th, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it's probably going to update on the 28th, which is in about a whole nother week. But if you look at the players, it went down to 40k. So in my opinion, it would be good if they added stuff like early and then they just save the rest of the stuff for another update because if they update weekly, if they update weekly like most games do, then there could be a lot more players, but they're probably just adding something very, very huge to this update, and I'm very excited to see what's going to be in this update. Okay, so first off, this update will be, well, I'm not really sure what it's going to be named, but there are going to be trees that can grow stuff on them, like fruit trees and just all that stuff like an apple tree avocado tree orange tree those are the three that i saw being posted everywhere in skyblocks discord also along with probably some new fish i'm pretty sure and also maybe some new things that you can craft but the main focus of this update is probably just going to be the trees that you can get stuff from I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna work though, like if whatever you plant it after it grows, if it will just drop it on the ground, or if you have to harvest it from the tree, or if it's gonna be like a totem where you can press F and open it and then take all of the stuff, like right here if you open the totem maybe the trees will be like this and then you can just collect it. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work, all I know is there's going to be some trees that have fruit and stuff on them that you can plant. Also, I'm not sure how much they're going to sell for, if they're going to be good, or if they're going to be very cheap and not really be that profitable. But they're also adding a new crop that goes on the, the grape chair, and uh, yeah, I don't know how much that's going to cost either, but they're going to be adding a lot of new crops. So this is basically going to be another farming update. If you look on their suggestions website, then... Uh, the farming update, farming 2.0, or whatever was suggested that they marked that's in progress, they still didn't change it to completed, so that means that they're still working on farming stuff, which means this update's gonna be another farming update, and hopefully they don't add where you have to wash your washers, and then, uh, yeah, cause I'm not really sure how many people actually like that oily thing, and that made farms less overpowered, because berry farms can already make you millions of coins a day, and the uh, onion farms can only make you, like, well, the same amount, but berry farms can make way more. So berry farms are definitely still going to be the most powerful, but there is one more thing. I mentioned this in my last video about the update, but they're adding new types of berries. I'm not sure if it's this update, but they marked it on their suggestions website as something that they're going to be adding soon. 
so there is probably going to be a new type of berries soon after this update if they do another farming update it might have more berries but in my opinion i think that they should just add a new ore and a new island and everything because well no one's really farming that much and no one's really that much into farming because everyone just has a really overpowered berry farm and then uses it to get coins that's the best way to get coins so well if they added a new ore then that would be very very good and anyways this update is probably well last update was supposed to be on sunday but then they delayed it a second time so it was originally going to update the first week sunday and then it was delayed to the next week and then it was delayed to monday but they did have a countdown and then it was delayed another time after the countdown ended but that was the fishing update with everything so this update's probably not going to be delayed after this so on the 28th I don't know if I should stream it, let me know in the comments if I should stream the update, because then I wouldn't be able to make a video on it. But anyways, let me know any of your update ideas in the comments, and imagine if it updates soon, like right after I upload this video, it just updates. Last update, they also said on their Discord stuff about the update time, and had that countdown and everything. So they haven't mentioned anything on their Discord, and I searched, and I didn't even see any messages by the owner on Discord for a while. So that probably means that they're not getting ready to release the update soon, so it's definitely, probably, maybe gonna be on the 28th. But that's just my prediction, and well, anyways, this update will be really good probably and imagine if you have to cut down trees though hopefully there aren't a whole bunch of new types of wood because well then the crafting table will just be full of wood that's a good but i just want to say a good update suggestion i have real quick okay so instead of having the crafting table like it is right now where everything is just completely random and it's not really organized that much they could make it where there's a section for wood, like it only shows the wood stuff you can craft, like wood fence, all of the fences, all of the stairs, or well, except for the wood stairs and or the stone stairs and stuff. They could have a wood section, they could have a table section, which they already kind of do at the bottom. But, or actually it kind of is organized right now, but... I don't mean like into sections like it is right now where you just scroll through one big list like buttons on the side that one would say wood, one would say all the other stuff, and it would just be good to organize the crafting table. And then if the new update trees do have new wood from them, then it would be good if they did something like that. But hopefully the trees are the same health because they're not adding any new ores so that means no new pickaxes or no new axes or anything like that. Well, anyways, they could be adding literally anything, and it will be a good update as always. Well, uh, I kinda still don't really like that oily crops thing, but I kinda don't have a farm for one, and I did a video on how to completely fix your farm from that. So in my opinion, all of the updates so far have been very good, and this update, they're taking a lot of stuff from the suggestions website, so hopefully a lot of stuff is added that people wanted to be added, especially a new ore, because I really, really want a new ore, because imagine if there's a new ore and a new island and everything, and then people farm again, that'd be so good. Also kind of like a vending machine thing where you could actually trade. Well, there are a lot of ideas that have been voted on on the Roblox Skyblock Suggestions website. Also, I don't know if they're going to announce update stuff there. I don't know if they can. I don't know if they own the website or if they made it with a website creator or if they're like... I don't know exactly how that works, but they're probably going to just post everything and announcements on their Discord server. So I'll probably say that in the next video if I make another video later if they posted anything new. But make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for a lot of Skyblock videos because I make Skyblock videos every single day. And like this video, join the Discord server link in the description for trading, and join the Roblox group link in the description also for trading. I'm still very used to calling it Roblox Skyblocks instead of Roblox Skyblock, 
But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and all that other stuff right there. Sub goal 200k. And I have a question for you guys. How often do you think Skyblocks should update? In my opinion, a weekly is good because most games do that. And it's a good amount of time to keep the players on. But not to have too frequent updates. So a week, in my opinion, is good. But let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, YouTube.